Hello everyone, this is Zeebo and welcome back to this AFK Journey video. So since we are nearing the end of the Waves of Intrigue season in terms of the mainstream contents, we are going to bring back our account review mini series in the next one to two weeks and we will be reviewing some of the accounts of our viewers and discussing the different pointers that the account owners want us to talk about. So for the very first video, we are going to start with the heavyweight which is a Kraken level account. So this account is by my viewer friend over here, Kazuha. So one of the bigger accounts in the game. So for this account, what he wanted me to talk about is to showcase the different features that are not common to other players, which I'll talk about later. And also to just run through the account and refine the arena, Supreme Arena teams itself, which is what I'll do in this video. But uh, I'll start off with running through the current progress. So AFK stage 2116. Current power is about 60 million. Okay. And this is the hero collection box. So very, very shiny box. So if you're on this box in the night or in the dark, and then you you close your eyes and open your eyes, you'll be blinded by the shine. So this blue color diamond shiny frame is the Paragon 4 tier, which is the highest tier that you can achieve within the game right now. So we have the Supreme Plus tier. We have the Paragon 1 tier, which is represented by the purple frame and icon. And then we have the Supreme 2 tier represented by the yellow color frame and icon. Uh, Supreme 3, I mean Paragon 3 right here represented by the red icon and the frame and the highest tier paragon 4 so paragon 4 for those of you guys who do not know offers a massive boost for pvp related contents such as arena supreme arena clash fronts as well as your crystal clash so with regards to the hero collection and the box itself it's pretty complete in terms of all the meta characters pretty much developed in terms of the most used characters for their ex weapon levels as well so nothing much for me to talk about in terms of collection wise for the fractional talent wise okay so this one is something which i think not many players have reached yet but uh, for the fractional talent itself once you unlock the stage four and you go to the very last note you will be able to get this step boost uh note over here which will increase your stat by 0.3 percent per stat line so hp attack physical and magical defense so 1.2 percent increase per level and you can upgrade this 10 times and this cost to upgrade will increase per level so this is the stat boost portion okay and you can obviously upgrade these 10 times and get your factional talent to uh, level 40 personally i'm not a big fan of this to level 6 I, I would actually spend the points here in the other factional talents because unlocking the skills as well as the other stat boost will be much more beneficial than focusing on this one but uh, if your focus is to push through afk stage or get maximum damage on primal lot i think this is what he was trying to achieve because model talent right now is the best for primal lot so he's boosting his stat boost over here getting the maximum attack stats to do maximum damage against primal law that he will be resetting later so this is with regards to the fashion talent i'll just upgrade this for him okay so the cost will upgrade so for most people not recommended to spam upgrade this because it will cost more per level to upgrade but if you have a specific goal to min max your damage then this is the way to min max and then reset later into the other skills and other uh, talents in terms of stats wise so this is uh, my recommendation at least from the fractional talent side next we're going to showcase uh, some features within the game that uh, uh, you guys might not have seen before and that is the max amount of gems that you can collect in your inventory as well as the max amount of currencies you can collect in your inventory so this is the gem own right now okay 999k and 999 gems <laughs> so uh, max collection and once you reach the max number of diamonds right here the excess diamonds will actually go into this temporary inventory where they might actually expire so let me scroll down here right here ten thousand here so if he doesn't claim this within this uh, expiry period the gems will just disappear from here so this is a kraken problem you know you need to max out to get to this one and this is the max amount of gems you can collect and on top of the max amount of gems there's also a cap to the various emporium currencies in the game this is also the very first time i encountered it because uh 
<laughs> I didn't know there's actually a cap for arena store coins as well as your dream store coin as you guys can see right here there's a cap so arena store coin is also 99,999 as you guys can see right here so all these currencies actually have a cap so I believe they have but certain currencies like for example friendship store certain currencies like uh, season store or maybe even recruitment store will actually take quite a while to max out so I think the max for this could also be 999k <laughs> I guess I guess because because I would never be able to encounter it is not something that most normal people will be able to encounter so these are the max currency value and whatever is NXX will go into the temporary inventory site okay so this is the things that uh, I wanted to show to you guys okay so max dream store currency near max dream store arena coins over here now moving to the thing that uh, he wanted me to sort of help refine is obviously the supreme arena teams so i did some adjustments to the team itself and uh, this is what i feel is the current best combination for his account based on the map right now so this is number one, the Celestial Hypogene team with Lily May as well as Huin support. So we feature three Paragon 4 Celestial Hypogene character for the Fractional Talent buff, which is at level 30 for the control as well as the damage. And then we have the damage from Lily May to cancel ultimates to be the damage dealer. And we have the heals from Huin to provide for the sustain of Tadin and also the heals for the team itself. So this is the idea for this team. I'm gonna experiment a little bit in the next few days to see whether or not this team is probably the most optimal. And also, right, we're gonna go through the other teams as well. So team number two, we are focusing around the Mauler talent because as shown earlier, his factional talent blood rich step over here is level 38 with a lot of step boost. So going through his collection right here, he can build uh two Mauler teams, but I think looking at the Paragon 4 units, um, he has a Paragon 4 OD, Paragon 4 Shakir, Paragon 4 Brutus, which are core units in Arena that is ran in Mauler teams. So we are featuring these units and we are using the Valor Shield spell to actually protect OD and allow OD to output as much damage within the first few seconds or the start of the battle by protecting OD pretty well with this uh, artifact right here. So this is the Mauler team with Rainer with the Mauler support. And then obviously third team is Dun and Diano team. So Dai and Diano team does have some counters, but um, because we are running, I'll say like two Celestial Hypogen teams, which in general this season is just insanely powerful because of the factional talent PvP wise. So we are going to go with Dai and Diano here. So we use Dan as the tank. We use Dino as the carry, Skalita as the additional support and secondary carry, Damien as the buffer and healer, and our dear uh, Laika over here as the buffer for the team. So this is the second team or the second Celestial Hypogen team. So these are the different defense team. Now, before I go into the offensive runs, for the arena side, I think... Yeah, I think he has consumed all the attempts. So right now, just checking on the formation itself yeah so this is the current team setup that he's running uh although this map itself tasi and tailing combo is also insanely powerful but right now for his collection his tasi is only a supreme plus so once he's going to max this out to paragon 4 he might want to adjust this team setup to fit into the talin tasi team itself so this is for the normal arena side okay i think this comp works as well even against tasi comps because buffing up dino damien will not be slapped damien will be able to come in and buff dino and then if dino gets hit dino will be buffed by skalita so this will allow dino to get the enlightening spell buff as well as the um three stacks to actually maximize his damage output as quickly as possible yeah then we have a whole bunch of stats from the celestial hypogen side plus 26 percent <laughs> so the only way to make this stronger is to switch out uh damien for maybe another celestial hypogen character then this will be plus 27 so this is the team a lot of stats as well as a lot of hyper carry potential from dino with the secondary carry potential from tailin and skalita so this is for the arena defense team now let's run through the supreme arena runs so we are gonna attempt to do a few runs for supreme arena and get him to number one so we will start with uh, red ali right here okay, so we will be doing a kraken style supreme arena run because we have the units so we have a lot of answers to the different teams out there and 
let do let's do this one okay okay so this one has um barrel as well as galita so celestial hydrogen for sure this one is mauler with sylvina upgrade okay then this one is there's a light bearer here but there is also uh i think this is the tarsi team yeah i got feeling this is a tarsi team so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use dan and dino here right and then we are gonna go with further spell to buff dino and we're gonna go with damien here gonna go with Lyca here so i think this is a tarsi team So where's my Laika? Laika, Laika, Laika. Okay, Laika here. And then for this one, this is a Mauler team, but our Mauler Fractional Tech is actually higher level, so we got more stats. And we do have a Paragon 4 OD, which hits insanely hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run my OD team and use my OD as the carry against his enemy's team here. So Brutus in the front line. Then we're gonna use Valor Shield spell to give OD that space to output damage and put Rainer here just to do I need Rainer for the second Celestial Hypogen team? Okay, I might want to, so I will be using I think what I'll do is I will be using um Ludovic here, I guess. Let's provide for additional heal for the team. So the third team, I'll be using the other Celestial Hypogen team that I showcase on my defense. So Taylin, Barrow, as well as Fresto. Okay, so this will be the core. Mm. And then we have two more slots. So I'll just use uh, Huwin for the insta heal to go with Taylin. And we'll go with Lilime to cancel one of the ultimates here. Although Taylin will be interrupted a lot by the factional talent, so Taylin's instant ultimate might be cancelled pretty quickly. I was considering whether or not I wanted to run a zoo team, but I think his wildest factional talent is only level 20, so I'll just stick with this one and see how it goes. So for this, we go with this one. We go with our dear resonating here, and let's start this battle. Okay, let's go. Okay, Taylin uses the ultimate. Where's the black hole? Okay, so the black hole cancels Taylin's ultimate here. There's a whole bunch of illusions from Fresto. Okay. Okay, we got Lily Me to do the damage and carry and also cancel potential uh, powerful ultimates from the enemy's team. Okay, okay, we, we deal, dealt with Skarita. Very, very nice. So a whole bunch of control here. Nice, done. Now we have Odi. We send Odi in because uh, the Odi is protected by Valor Shield spell. So even when Serena actually goes after Odi, Odi doesn't die immediately. And then Odi goes in and he gets healed up by the other units. And because uh, we have Odi with the level 38 buff, we just kill off the other units really quickly. So for this one, oh, he's also running a die and team. But with Termasia on the front line, that's actually quite special. But yeah, we managed to we managed to sort of prevent the dino from doing much because the, the third team is very weird but it's a dun and dino team right dun and dino with termasia where's the buffs <laughs> okay but anyway this is the result so let's continue let's go on up to the other ranks okay we, we, we're not gonna yeah it's, it's pretty much the same team we're gonna challenge arvid over here we're just gonna take top one here because I don't want to drag out the video for too long. We're just going to showcase how we can play Supreme Arena when we have the different choices. Okay. Smokey with the major. Is this another Celestial Hypogen team? Dan and Dino is here. So Dan is on Talon. It's a fresh store here. The one thing that I really like about this season Supreme Arena is you you, are, you don't know the Fashion Talent. Fashion Talent tells you a lot about what teams your enemy can be using. Which is why I really, really love Supreme Arena for this season specifically. Okay, for, for this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just use the exact same offensive teams that I'm, I was using just now. But I'm going to I'm gonna adjust the positionings a little bit. 
Okay, so these are the teams saved. Let's put here. Okay, so against this, the Dun is going to cause a problem for us nonetheless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feature the Celestial Hypogene Factional Talent together with Lily May being the carry. So the only unit, if Dun survive on the enemy's end, they can cast the ultimate is actually Taylin. So I just go in with my dear Lily May to cancel the very first one. Okay. And then we're going to put Illusion Fresto in front of Huwin and Damage Reduction Fresto in front of Taylin. And we need another Celestial Hypogene for the buff itself. I'm just going to put in Barrel. Barrel, 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 Barrel. Where's Barrel? Barrel here. Oh no, Formation is full. Oh wait, Rowan's in front. Okay, so Barrel is here. Okay, we're going to put Barrel at the corner. Should be fine because uh, he has quite a bit of isolated targets. And then we're going to buff up Lily May with Resonating Spell. Uh, I think Mauler against this should be fine. Vela Shoe Spell indicates that it's a hyper carry team. So I think Dino should be in the mix. But Dino has nothing against a level 38 Mauler team. So we're going to go with a level 38 Mauler team. Okay, Shakir. Okay, we gotta take out our Dino. We gotta put out Odi as well. Put Odi here. And uh, go with Coco, I guess. Where's Coco? Coco? If it's a Dino team that doesn't shut down by Ultima, I think it's fine. So my Odi will be able to carry. And we're going to put a Rainer here, I guess. Just to Rainer swap off the targets here. And now uh, we are going to go with Valor Shield Spell. Protect OD. Okay. And then for this one, we'll use our Dian Dino, I guess. Yeah. Dian Dino is flexible here. So what I can do is I can use Dan to cast the ultimate. For a little bit of damage and even more lockdown. Skalita. On this tile. And uh, we're going to use uh, Laika on the energy tile to get the ultimate off. Although, doesn't matter because Dan is going to shut down the whole team anyway. So the energy tile doesn't matter too much. Yeah, because Dan is going to shut down everyone. Yep, doesn't matter. So we're going to put Damien here. And then we're going to get our dear Burden spell. Okay, let's start. Okay. Oh, it's not a Dun and Dino team. It's a Light Bearer and Mola team. Okay. Okay, okay. So. I don't see the combo. Wait, what's the combo? Shakir and Termasia, maybe? Yeah, Shak Shakir and Termasia, maybe. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we have a picture of this one. So we cancel Taylor's ultimate. Unfortunately, I think the Dino Lock is... Yeah, I'm not able to heal. Then maybe I should have featured healing. I should use another healer. So luckily for me, because Barrow and Taylin, they can come back to life. But uh, the heal came in a little late because we got locked down by Dan, which is something I miscalculated. Okay. I probably might have wanted to use Damien instead. Yeah. Okay. So for this one, we won't be dying to burst anytime soon. So should be fine. OD is starting to kill off the right side, but the dino flew up into the air. Okay. Okay, so this this Dan and Dino Com is insane. Okay, fine. Let's challenge this again. Gonna run through the teams used by Avid over here to figure out how do we want to deal with him. So he's using a Termasia with... There's no factional talents here. So it's just a whole bunch of P4 characters. Okay. I think this team is a lot easier to break through. So this, this is annoying because Dunlea shuts down um Hewin's ultimate so i might have to use a heal that's not reliant on ultimate at the start of battle so maybe damien i might want to just use uh my dino and dino here instead and then here
we will use we will use this team over here and we'll use Dino and Dino here or okay since the first team doesn't have that many controls what i'll do is i'll shift the mauler team to the first one okay mauler team should be able to deal with um most of this sam brutus in gonna get shakir to transform immediately do i want another unit that gets the ultimate off asap okay we're gonna use this then we're gonna go with iron almas yeah gonna go with iron almas with coco on the energy tile to get the ultimate off asap uh iron here okay and then we're gonna go with our dear resonating on od because od is not gonna die anytime soon so we're gonna buff od od goes in with a level 38 Mauler talent how we should be able to kill him so we're using the iron armors to pull everyone so that we group everyone together and then we have the defensive support of coco with control from these two and the damage output from shakir and od together okay and then for this one um, to be honest i think this team should work here and we will use dun and dino in the other team so we're gonna go with this one we're gonna go with this one tailing on one of the tiles lily me on another one okay this or well, the thing about using fresco on this map is just a little bit waste of the talent itself but i think it's fine let's put arrow here it's, it's a done and dino though so do i want more stats or do i want i think splitting up my units is the way to go yeah splitting up my units is the way to go and um I think Velashu. Velashu is fine. We use Verdant for the other team. So right here we'll use uh, Dan and Dino. There's a Reyna swap. It's fine. Sky Dano. So we run away from we run away from the Reyna swap. Okay, so let's start the battle. Should be a win from here. So there's no factional talent here. OD should be able to snipe down all the targets and force Skarita to come down as early as possible. So no full charge on Skarita. Yeah, pretty early, so should be okay. So we poison her down. Okay, it's this one. Done and Dino Damien's. Oh no. Okay. Dano still got snapped down by the AoE of the Celestial Hypogen. So that's the power of this uh, uh, this uh, talent right here. A lot of damage and a lot of control and burst. Okay, because we don't have any control immunity on Dino. Dino got caught there, unfortunately. Okay. So this is also Celestial versus Dino. But this Dino has Valor Shield. So he could be a little bit more annoying to deal with. But our healing died really, really fast. Okay. But the opponent doesn't have much sustain here, so I think she'll be good. Okay, nice. Managed to win this third match here. So the Celestial Hybogen Tower is insanely powerful. If you were to review this replay right here, right, what happened is that at the start of battle, both teams can't use their ultimate. The Ego jumped straight into Dino right here. Got put every everybody got pulled together, and then Talin drops a fire, and then the whole team just melted, right? So in this case, I might have a better result if I ran Valor Shield on Dino to protect Dino, but then my other units will still get melted. Although Damien can come back and start providing the heal, and I could turn the battle with uh, Dino with all the buffs and stuff, but it's fine, we won the battle. So that's pretty much it for this video, right? Just a simple account showcase for one of the biggest accounts in the game. Uh, I already started some uh, accounts recruitment for the account reviews in the next few days. So stay tuned for more account reviews coming on this channel in the next few days itself. Thank you very much for tuning in. Do remember to like and subscribe to see more. See you guys again in my next video. Bye, guys.